Moving on to more serious news, gun violence on South Street. A private security officer is in critical condition after police say he was shot by the driver of a three-wheeled motorcycle. Officers say several bikes and ATVs were seen speeding away from the scene after that shooting, which happened just hours after South Street Fest had wrapped up. Eyewitness News reporter Marcella Bayetto has more. Police tape on South Street blocked off the scene of where the 40 year old unarmed security guard was shot just before 11 Saturday night. Police tell CBS3 a woman who was a passenger on a three wheeled motorcycle got into a fight with an employee of a South Street Fest vendor. The guard broke up the fight and the driver of the motorcycle then got involved. The operator of that vehicle then fired two shots, striking one of the security officers in the leg and in the stomach. At the time, vendors were still cleaning up following the festival, which had ended at 7 p.m. Police say the altercation started when people on ATVs and motorcycles began removing street barricades. It was blocked off all over the place and it was crowded. Too many people, they came from all over the place. Now, this is where that shooting happened last night, right on 7th and South Street. Now, a neighbor that lives right across the street says he heard those ATVs driving right past his building. I heard them coming down here, but through my back window, I could see them going down 7th Street, heading uh, north. Saturday's incident does not surprise store employees in the area. I feel sorry what happened to the security guard, and uh, it happens. Sometimes it happens. For some, the recent crime, including the mass shooting on a weekend in June, is impacting business on South Street. You know, we used to get a bunch of customers. Now, because of the crime, the customer they don't come in that much. They call us. Is it safe to walk? Police say there are no suspects in custody, but we're told they have video of much of the incident from police cameras in the area. They're hoping that will lead to arrests. In Bella Vista, Marcel Bayetto, CBS3 Eyewitness News.